My first uh, experience with woodworking was uh, building my house. You know, uh, I never really had much of a background, but uh, I went and took a three-week course in uh, in uh, the states for uh, for house building, and uh, that's it. I came back the next year. I started building my house, and um, after a few years, uh, I started. Uh, building uh, furniture in the basement and then uh, moved on to building my workshop and working here every day in my shop. My, my main job, I was a seaman, I worked on the Great Lakes for 37 years. I started at 17 and uh, retired in 2012. So uh, I guess you could say uh, in my late 20s uh, I started the house and, and uh, from there on, that's that's where the journey's been. Since I retired in 2012, uh, I could say I probably spend a good 40 hours a week in here. Uh, come over early in the morning and maybe work three, four hours. Uh, if I want to leave it alone and go somewhere in the afternoon, I'm free to do that. Well, so most of the work I do is uh, is handmade uh, cutting boards. Uh, I start right off from. Um, earrings, bracelets, uh, and then um, I'll move on to uh, bigger uh, items like mostly cutting boards and uh, bowls, rolling pins, turn a little bit. Uh, and then uh, most of my uh, wares are gone to people's houses. Uh, many people have my cutting boards in their kitchen. I'm, 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 I'm very happy, very proud to be able to share my product, uh, mostly around the region. Um, most of my most of my stuff, I, I do uh, markets. Uh, this is three years now. I've done the uh, summer market in Mansonville. Great place, great people. It's just a great feeling uh, to be with people. And so uh, I would have to say that most of my sales are from uh, uh, local uh, markets, Christmas markets. Uh, people that know me and come to my shop. Um, during the summer I do the Tour des Art. Um, very, very fun. Get to meet a lot of people. Uh, there's always different people too every year and also people keep coming back that I might not have seen them for the whole year and they'll show up. And so it's just a, it's just a pleasure to do, uh, to do this kind of work, you know. I, lo I mostly like to make uh, smaller items or, or coffee tables, benches. I get inspired by, by, by the trees, trees that I've cut and I do some live edge stuff, countertops. Uh, but most of my stuff is, uh, you know, I do glass, I do glass work, uh, mosaics sometimes, uh, I'll mosaic tops of furniture but uh, just different things, uh, change, change up things, you know, it's, it's, I'll do cutting boards, but uh, I'll put different woods in or I'll get a different species that I haven't used, you know, I'm using one there now, uh, it's called Bloodwood, it, it's a deep, deep red, beautiful wood to work with, smells rich, so there's always new woods to use too, so, you know, it's, it's, it's never ending, never ending. Well, I've been doing these uh, big butcher blocks and uh, to me, I guess it's when you start small and you're getting bigger. And uh, these these are uh, uh, end grain creations, uh, you know, cutting boards with the grain facing up. Uh, so uh, in the last uh, two years, I say I've made uh, probably about 60 of them. Uh, it takes a lot of wood. I mix up a lot of different woods. I'll uh, I'll wait for after a couple of months of gluing up a lot and then go into another process to change and, and mix and match uh, the different woods and uh, so the patterns that come out in the end, that, that, that's the, 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 the good feeling moment. So, you know, that, that, that right there was probably, it takes a couple of months just to, you know, get maybe uh, 12 or 14 of these made. but. After the two months is over and they're, they're all oiled, sanded and oiled, and that's the good feeling. Mosaics. Mosaics uh, is so much fun, you know. Uh, it's only a thing that I do in the wintertime. I do all my, mosaic, all my mosaic work in the basement while I'm getting my fire going in the morning, so I'll be starting it pretty soon. And my last piece is right where it was left off in the spring, ready to go back at it. And uh, it's such a, it's another, it's a different, 
different work because uh, there's no there's no forgiveness in the glass. The glass is the glass. You, you can't sand it. You can you can grind it a little bit, but uh, it's colors too. You know, in wood you have you have dark. You know, you have walnut. It's just dark or red with cherry or mahogany or or most woods are light. You know, birch or ash. But glass, you have every different color in there. So you get to do a lot of thinking and playing. You could, uh, you know, mix up your skies. You could, you could you gradually, and, and uh, I have a lot of fun with that. Well, being where I worked on the ships, uh, you pretty well have to have a ritual. Uh, I was a wheelsman, so you're kind of like a clock. You're, you're, you're going by the minute all the time. You relieve somebody uh, uh, twice a day, uh, 10 minutes to the hour, uh, you know, not a minute less, not a minute more. You know, I, I just, I come over in the morning, uh, I put my coffee on a warmer over there and then I look around and I, when I come in the shop uh, I don't even have a clue what I'm going to do but as soon as I look somewhere there's something to do and then it's like that's it I'll start going around the shop and just looking at what I have to do so there's probably uh, 10 things going on at once during the day in here so and also outside I've got stuff going on uh, outside so no real ritual but uh, kind of like a clock what can I say at the end of the day it's uh, it's like well what did I do today and and a lot of times it's uh, might have just been a day of milling you know just like right now I'm getting uh, a lot of different woods ready uh, to go into cutting boards so you know it's not like I'm gonna make a cutting board it's like I've got to get all the wood ready and when I have enough ready enough different woods to mix well then I'll start so uh, it's been about two weeks now of just just milling wood and uh, I'll be glad when I get started to making some new boards so. well the tools that I use uh, I have big tools for big wood and I have small tools for small wood so I'm, I'm, I'm not much of a, of a hand tool person like with, with sharp hand planes and most of my work is, is, uh, is power tools but uh, I've got some big planers and joiners when my wood comes in, if it's rough from, uh, from uh, planks that were sawed from logs, well, we'll go on that. And then when it gets down to the finer stuff, uh, like um, uh, doing my uh, precise uh, cutting boards and stuff, well, then they go to the smaller tools after they've been knocked down by the bigger tools. And uh, so then I have some uh, different cutters that are more precise and smaller tools. So within the shop, I have uh, three table saws. Uh, one is a dado blade just for grooves. And uh, I have a bigger saw and a smaller saw. And I have three joiners. Uh, you know, I have uh, my lathe, uh, three drill presses, uh, three or four sanders, a time saver. Uh, so it's not a big shop, but I have a lot of tools and I use them all. <laughs> My inspiration. Uh, well, uh, there's a few woodworkers. Uh, Sam Malouf, uh, you know, he worked in his shop till he was uh, 87 and, and created uh, chairs that were, you know, uh, it, it's just uh, amazing to see. Uh, that somebody can, you know, start as young and, 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 and still work till, till his late 80s in his shop, you know. So he's an inspiration. Another was Tage Fred, an old, old uh, uh, Scandinavian, I believe, woodworker. And, uh, you know, and uh, some of the newer ones too, some of the new techniques I haven't really got into. I'd like to maybe experiment with. Uh, there's so many, so many out there. So, so many people doing so many things. It's hard to really, you know, say say who would really inspire me right now because, you know, it's never ending. Never ending. I must say, well, last year wasn't uh, a very big year on sales without markets and that, but it was a great year for production. I think a lot of people were in that boat too because. Even if you're not selling, you're still producing, you know, and it's always been that way with me. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't rely, I wouldn't say rely on the sales, but that's not my, my, my goal is, is to just uh, keep creating and to, and to uh, you know, uh, give out, or I shouldn't say give, but you know, if somebody is buying my products, it, it, I would love to see everybody. And I know we're able to have one, but you know, uh, so last year I would say it was, you know, probably one of my uh, lowest uh, 
sales in years, but one of my best productive years. So, <laughs> If you look around the shop, you're going to see a lot of wood. So, you know, a big part of my time in here is cleaning and, and just trying to put into, put into blocks, into, into, into whatever, you know, and then make something out of it. But it's always moving wood in and then trying to make something and make room for more because, you know, you're always, it's always evolving and, and, and so, if it gets too overwhelming, uh, I've got a lot of stuff not finished. Thankfully, most of it is, is just for myself. So when I get time to finish it, I can. But if I get discouraged, uh, like I say, I, I can leave the shop for a while and uh, go for a drive and come back and, and pick up where I left off. You know, uh, Advice to somebody doing woodworking. Uh, I would have to say, uh, you know, just do it. Do it for yourself. Do it because you like to do it. Do what you like to do if you can. You know, I'm fortunate I'm able to do that, but uh, I know some fellow woodworkers that, you know, a lot of times they're, they're doing uh, a commission that they're struggling with and that, but you know, uh, it, you have to do it for, for the fun, you know. It's, it's, if, if you're not having fun, you know, there's, there's times when it's very dusty and that, but uh, you know, just, you know, you just have to keep going. You know, seeing that it's fall and uh, and it's so much colorful, I got I, I must share this. Uh, I just finished a, a three-day show at Owl's Head, which was amazing. There were you know people want to get out, and the two parking lots were full. We had music, and there was about uh, twelve, I guess, fifteen artisans inside. And just to say, it was you know it was so nice to. To see people, you know, uh, out there and, and uh, enjoying all the fall colors, and uh, like to say uh, thanks again for the, the great show. I was welcomed, uh, invited to do in in Owlshead uh, last weekend. So I'm in stores, uh, mostly all local. You know, I, I've I've got the uh, I've got the uh, Telly Booth in Sutton and sell my cutting boards. I also have. Uh, Ver part two, that, that's strictly my, my jewelry and, and smaller stuff. And uh, the Bell Shows, right next to CIDI. Uh, she's been excellent. We've been together for years with her store. And, and you know, uh, most of my work is, is uh, either uh, found in local stores or when I do the markets, you know. Uh, we have an upcoming market. Uh, I'm happy to say uh, there'll be a market this year in, in Mansonville. Uh, it's going to be at the uh, the uh, local school, the local French school, Baluchon, and it's going to be on December 4th and December 11th, so one Saturday after the other uh, Christmas market. So, I also have a Facebook page for my woodworking, which you can find uh, on John Murphy Woodworker, a woodworker in two words. Tordes Art website that shows a lot of furniture uh, and all the other artists. You know, uh, like I say, the Tordes Art has been a dream for me. When those nine days come in July there, it's just like, you know, it's meeting all these people and sharing what I've been doing for the year, you know. So, you know, you're working all year for, for to, to, to put it out there for nine days and uh, the shop gets all cleaned up about a month before I start, you know, uh, just blowing the dust out and trying to finish up stuff and moving stuff. So it's a good month preparation. I put everything out and uh, to look on some people's faces when they come in that door, they smell the wood and they, you know, it's, 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 it's what I love. I would like to acknowledge the support of the Official Language Minority Community Media Consortium and the Government of Canada for the Community Media Strategic Support Plan.